In today's video, we're gonna talk about the ideal conversion schema set up on SKAD network or scan in shot for subscription apps. So for those that are new to this, scan or SCAD network is Apple's measurement protocol, which operates without the IDFA or any sort of unique identifier. If you want more background on this, go check out the definitive guide to marketing in a post IDFA world on rocketshiphq.com under resources. Uh, there's plenty of other episodes of the Mobile UA show as well around the uh, around SCAD network and so on. Today, we're gonna to talk specifically about how this applies to subscription apps. So in your SCAN schema, you have to select a set of events that lets Apple track your campaign's performance and uh, send this data to platforms like Facebook, TikTok, Snap, et cetera. Right? And these events could be registration, trial, complete onboarding, et cetera. Now, these events do have to be prioritized. So you have to specify what event is low priority, say, which could be registration, which is a low priority event as a user who just registers has a relatively low value and what event has high priority. So a trial or a purchase would have a higher priority. And uh, this is important because SCAN only records the highest priority event and passes this event on to platforms like Facebook and TikTok for measurement, right? The other idiosyncrasy of SCAN events is the system of timers that is involved. So the moment a user installs, there's a 24 hour timer that starts. It keeps running until the user performs another event, right? So for example, a user installs today, a 24 hour timer starts, user registers after six hours, the timer gets reset. That's a new timer starts for 24 hours, right? And this keeps going on. So user installs, registers, completes uh, onboarding, all happening within a 24 hour time window. This keeps going on until the point that there are no events happening for a 24 hour time window, right? So let's just say a user completes onboarding and does nothing for the subsequent 24 hours, then, the, uh, then Apple's protocol finalizes the event and says, look, complete onboarding is the highest value event that has happened because I haven't heard from the user for the last 24 hours, I'm gonna send this post back at a random time within the subsequent 24 hours, right? So the event gets passed to Facebook, TikTok and other platforms with, uh, subsequently. So what's most important is that the system of timers keeps getting reset with new events, all within a 24 hour time window, right? Uh, so why does all of this matter? And why does this matter, particularly for subscription apps? This is important because the later in the user's life cycle that, a, that an event happens, the lower the chance of it being captured by scan. So if a registration happens in the first six hours, user goes away, does nothing, and then comes back three days later and starts a trial, this trial is not captured as a conversion event by scan. The good news for the vast majority of subscription apps is that the trial happens within 24 hours for the vast majority of users, at least for the apps that I have come across, 90% of users complete the trial within the first 24 hours, right? Which means you're capturing the most important signal without any signal loss. Now, if, you know, I would contrast that with games uh, or uh, apps of other genres where some, sometimes authentic apps, let's just say, where the first purchase event happens three to seven days after an install, which is just impossible to capture within scan, right? And the special thing about subscription apps is that that signal loss does not happen. With all that said, what should your schema be for a subscription app? The guiding principle I always recommend is to maximize signal within the first 24 hours of install, right? With that said, I would recommend treating, uh, having these events within your conversion app schema, uh, scan schema, uh, I would keep it very, very simple. 
the lowest priority event I would recommend to, to be registration, the next higher priority to be complete onboarding, the next higher priority to be free trial, the subsequent higher priority, and this is more nice to have, would be an engaged free trial. So you can distinguish folks who have some likelihood of converting into paid users. Again, uh, since at least the first three events get done by the well, vast majority of users in the first 24 hours, it's a registration, complete onboarding and free trial, you're able to capture and measure the quality of users in your ad networks and platforms. And uh, you're able to optimize for these users fairly easily and much, much more effectively than you would do for other genres of apps. I hope this has been helpful. Please leave a comment or hit like uh, or hit subscribe to check out more tips on mobile user acquisition.